How to find out if a baby is teething. Assume that you can see signs as early as three months. There are big differences for the beginning of teething. Some parents may notice the signs as early as three months, with the tooth breaking through the gum at the age of four to seven months. Most children have all 20 milk teeth when they are three years old. If you pay attention to the signs of teething, you can be vigilant to examine the mouth on your baby's teeth to relieve his discomfort and clean the baby's mouth of bacteria. Note that some babies do not show signs of teething. In these cases, you may notice when you watch the baby's mouth for piercing teeth. Examine your baby's mouth area. If you suspect that your baby is teething, you might want to see if you see any signs around the mouth. You can look at the skin around your mouth and then look into your mouth. Make sure your hands and fingers are clean before examining your baby's mouth so that bacteria that can cause an infection are kept in check. See if you notice a drool or your baby's mouth is particularly wet. This is a good indication that your baby is teething or not for long. Watch for a rash on the face or a reddish skin if you check for drooling. A rash is often a sign that a baby is teething. It may not be very dark, but if your baby's skin is redder or redder than normal, it could be a rash. Gently pull away your baby's lip to see the gums. Note that you can see bulging gums, especially around the molars. In other cases, you may notice a buildup of fluid that forms a bluish vesicle. This is completely normal and you should leave it alone. Massage your baby's gums when you feel like teeth or hard spots. This can give your baby some relief while you can find out if it is teething. Watch for excessive sucking or biting. Most babies show some physical symptoms of teething before the first tooth pushes through the gums. Many babies bite or suck on toys, fingers or other objects. If you notice that your baby is biting or sucking on things more often, this is probably a sign that it is already or soon teething. See if your baby is rubbing the gums with the things it sucks or bites. Many teething babies rub in addition to sucking and biting their gums. Watch your baby's ears. Babies often associate teething pain with their ears. If you notice that your baby is pulling on or banging on his ears in addition to other symptoms, maybe he is teething. Be aware that it is common for babies to pull or play with their ears out of curiosity. However, it can also be a sign of ear infection. If you are not sure if pulling has to do with teething or ear infection, which can be serious if left untreated, call the pediatrician. Other signs that indicate an ear infection are, 4. As a fever, a cold or delicate behavior when pulling on the ears, lie down or drink from a bottle feel the temperature. If your baby's cheeks or skin is redder or feels warm, it may have a slightly elevated temperature because of teething. However, you should be aware that teething only causes a slight increase in temperature. If your baby has a high fever, it could be teething and something else will cause the fever. In this case, call the doctor watch the mood of your baby. In addition to the physical symptoms of teething, your baby could also show signs of behavior. Two of the most common such signs are irritability and excessive crying. See if your baby, despite your attempts to calm it, is fussy than usual or even irritable. This can be a result of pain or discomfort due to teething. You may notice that the irritability or pinchiness is worse in the evening, because the eruption of the teeth is more active at night. Make sure your baby cries more than usual within a few days. This can indicate teething, especially if your baby has other symptoms. However, you should be aware that excessive crying may be a sign of flatulence, colic or other ailments, such as bee and ear infection. Check for changes in the food pattern. Since teething can make your baby uncomfortable in the mouth, it can affect their eating habits or patterns. Pay close attention to how much and whether your baby eats, which may be a sign that may indicate the breaking of a tooth or a teething. Make sure your baby is suddenly breastfed or drinks out of the bottle when it's usually on solid foods. This may be because a fork or spoon irritates the baby's inflamed gums. Or maybe your baby prefers to eat solid food because the pressure of the cutlery on the gums feels good. Realize that your baby withdraws from breastfeeding or from the bottle because the sucking causes uncomfortable pressure on the gums and the ear canal. Go with your baby to the pediatrician if he does not eat. This can be the result of the tooth or other ailments. In any case, the doctor can help you diagnose and treat the problem. Watch out for the baby's sleep. 
Since the eruption of teeth usually happens at night, teething can disrupt your baby's sleep. Watch for changes in your baby's evening habits. As wakefulness or interruptions in sleep. The same can also apply to sleep during the day. If your baby shows these symptoms along with other symptoms of teething, it may soon get teeth. Remember that disturbed sleep can cause or increase your baby's irritability or fussy. Give your baby a tooth toy. The pressure of chewing on such a toy can help alleviate any discomfort of your baby. From tooth rings to cogs you can try different toys to calm your baby. Put a damp washcloth in the fridge or freezer for 30 minutes and let your baby chew on it. Make sure that the washcloth does not become tough, as this can squeeze your baby's swollen gums. Cool a rubber teether in the fridge and give it to your baby. You should never place such rubber rings in the freezer or cook them for sterilization. The extreme temperature changes can damage the rubber or plastic and cause chemicals to escape. You should also make sure that you never tie a teething ring around your baby's neck because it can strangle your baby with it give your baby cold food and water. All coolness can help relieve your baby's discomfort. Give your baby a cool drink or something cold to eat, so it feels better. This can also help a baby who has difficulty eating because of the discomfort of getting vital nutrients. Let your baby drink a bottle of ice-cold water if it is older than 6 months. If your baby is under 6 months, it may drink some water, 30 to 60 milliliters, without ice cubes from a bottle or a cup. Do not give babies more than once or twice a day, unless recommended by the pediatrician. Give your baby chilled foods such as yogurt, pureed peaches or applesauce to soothe the gums. You can also give it ice lolly or freeze fruit like bananas and prunes in a so-called baby feeder with mesh bag. The pouch prevents your baby from choking on food. Give your baby only cakes or frozen and cold food if it is already eating solid food. Make sure your baby is upright if you give him these things. Pay attention to what you should avoid. There are plenty of remedies that can soothe a teething baby, but there are also some that you should keep away from. Alcohol and dental gels or tablets can be harmful to your baby's health. Avoid the following to relieve the discomfort of a teething baby, place an aspirin tablet on a tooth or gum clearing alcohol on your baby's gum give your baby a dental tablet massage gels or numbing gels on baby's gums because some of them contain medications that can be dangerous to babies put on an amber necklace for your baby because it cannot help and suffocate your baby. Dab whiskey on the gums of the baby, this can stun the child and be dangerous talk to the dentist. If you are worried about teething your baby, make an appointment with the dentist. In an investigation, he can identify potential problems and schedule treatment for them. Tell the dentist if you have specific concerns. You may want to let him know what signs and symptoms your baby has shown and what you have done to alleviate them. If you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.